Paramount's turn to lead home viewing, A Quiet Place, Day One on VOD, Jack Reacher, at Netflix. Meanwhile, SpongeBob offshoot, Saving Bikini Bottom, from Paramount's Nickelodeon, is a Netflix original and now at number two on the platform. Paramount is the big winner in home viewing at the moment on VOD platforms and at Netflix. The just-released A Quiet Place, Day One is number one at both iTunes and Fandango, adding to its success after grossing $137 million in domestic box office so far. Meantime, Paramount-produced films currently take three of the top five spots on Netflix's movie Top 10, led by Tom Cruise in two Jack Reacher movies, Never Go Back, at number one, and the original at number five. Number two right now is Saving Bikini Bottom. The Sandy Cheeks movie, an offshoot of Paramount-owned Nickelodeon's SpongeBob SquarePants Empire, which earlier led the list. Like Sony, Paramount is happy to take Netflix's money even if it means removing content from their in-house streamer, Paramount+. Plus. The Jack Reacher movies are not abnormal. All studios other than Disney have some licensing output deal with the streaming leader. But taking homegrown originals, Saving Bikini Bottom, in its early stages, was considered a potential theatrical release, and selling them instead to Netflix says a lot about their commitment to elevating Paramount+. Plus. The VOD listings after The A Quiet Place prequel mainly follow last week's order, with the big move coming from The Fall Guy, with a rental reduction to $5.99. It landed second at iTunes and third at Fandango. The latter is very impressive since lower-priced titles are at a disadvantage under their system of ranking by revenue. A 24 released Maxx Sheena on PVOD after four weekends. Early for them. It is seventh on both charts. A below-the-radar low-budget film called The Twisters, though new, is renting for only $3.99 is number eight at iTunes, whether from confusion or curiosity uncertain. It involves the merging of multiple tornadoes into one giant funnel. Disney's 2006 Gymnastics World film, Stick It, popped up at iTunes at number 10. Sony's recent horror entry, Tarot, debuted on Netflix, now number 3. Hillbilly Elegy ended its return run after two weeks. Top 10s iTunes ranks films daily by number of transactions, while Fandango at home lists by revenue. The listings below are for Monday, August 5th, and the week of July 29th to August 4th. The distributors listed are current rights owners. Prices for all titles are for lowest for either rental or download. iTunes. 1. A Quiet Place. Day 1. $19.99. 2. The Fall Guy, $5.99. 3. Bad Boys, Ride or Die, $19.99. 4. Civil War, $4.99. 5. Furiosa, A Mad Max Saga, $9.99. 6. Horizon, An American Saga, Chapter 1, $19.99. Thanks for watching this video. Please hit the subscribe button for more update news.